Hello everyone, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. You may have heard of this game. That's why you're here. Recently I have not been making very many videos, and that's because I've been doing coding for a Hoi 4 mod. So, I'm not actually going to be playing the game today. Instead, I let random people completely change the game. Now, starting off on the list, we have giving Bulgaria a path to reclaim. All right, let's code it. All right, so as every Hoi 4 mod that you make, you always got to start with the common folder, the folder that is just exponentially more boring than any other folder, but also the main fabric of the game. All right, so I've just tested it. Uh, it does indeed work. It is indeed here. You just need to control uh, about eight states. I haven't put any kind of description for it. I'll put that later. All right, so what you got to do is you got to do power to the czar, get that done. Uh, I don't think it really matters if you go for point right wing. Actually, no, it does. Yeah, no, it really doesn't matter which path you go down. Uh, promote Bulgarian nationalism or path towards Greater Bulgaria. It doesn't really matter. Bulgarian irredentism. Approach Germany. Join the par tripartite. Total war. Eastern front. Then you can get to here once you control all of these states. I believe if you control all of these states, total of eight entire states, you will gain cores on all of them. You can see it did not work. Oh, nope, never mind. I take that back. It did work. It just took a little bit of time. And what's that maximum core button? 21.91 million, that's, yeah, there's your new Bulgaria. You've, you've essentially just moved it over to here. Actually, I have a better idea. Remember kids, localization is spelled with an S, not an I in the game's code, so if you mess that up, congratulations, go back and fix it. All right, so I've changed its location. Now it is just below Prussia of the Balkans. Uh, yeah, it basically just gives you a war goal in the Soviet Union and it'll give you cores, but I am actually going to change that to a decision so that you will gain claims instead of cores on these places and you won't have to control them. Updated the focus and and it should instead give claims. Yep, it gives claims. Cool. And all you have to do is not be in a faction with the Soviet Union, and you can get it. So let me just quickly rush down to it, get all the things I need, and there you are. Now you get a free war goal against the Soviet Union. Ignore all of that. You don't need to see any of that. Bulgaria has a few, few claims on the Balkans. There we go. So those eight locations I believe. Uh, Alright, well there you go. And it'll be active for 60 days. Just give myself some political power and do all of those. After 60 days, these are going to all done. And there we go. They have all completed, okay, white, white piece the Soviet Union and release Bulgaria. Beautiful. Now we have cores on here. The maximum core population of Bulgaria is 63.92 million. Wow, that... <laughs> wow, so it increased by like 25%. That is wild. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these, though. Maybe I'll make it so you can core Odessa, Balta, and Mikolov, but otherwise... This one's pretty much done. Just need to add some localization and should be good from there. All right, now as for the next one on the list, we are going... Nope, nope, I will absolutely not be adding that. Nope. Okay, everyone, guess what I've successfully managed to do? That's right, give myself drain damage. Uh... Now you may be wondering, how have I given myself drain damage? Well, you'll see in just a minute. <sighs> I'm going to lose all of my sanity. That's what I would have said if I had any. Unfortunately, I play a game called Hearts of Iron 4, so I don't have that. I think this just summarizes this entire series and how it's going to go. Look at this. It, it just has a generic focus tree. There's nothing going for it here. Also, these five divisions here, I'm going to have to get rid of or just straight up move to a different location. Thankfully, we can do that later because next up, Germany is going to migrate to Kazakhstan. 
Let's do it. tested this yet so this is going to be surprising if it works to say the least So after the most drawn out and boring time lapse that I've ever had on this channel, Germany and Kazakhstan finally swapped locations. However, I didn't really speak much during many of the segments since it was 1 in the morning and dragging onwards. So as for the next request, it was to replace every troop with whatever that is. And I took that person. So I took that as maxing out every single division that there is. Since I have no idea what Supreme Commander 2 is. Someone please let me know. It's probably a reference I don't get. So if I'm correct... <laughs> They're all veterans. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is every single Soviet division... No. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so um... We kind of have a few divisions stuck here, so these five are going to be handed over. And these divisions over here are going to suffer the same fate. And then I said, it's coding time, and coded all over it. Wait, that's that sounds bad. So this is 1936. Fuck war. Yep. We got the divisions here. Soviet Union has 128. Beautiful. So I got all the divisions there. Yup. That should be all those divisions. I realized I wasn't full screen to any of that time. Alright, now let's see. Did I mess any of this up? I don't... Alright, so he plays the Soviet Union. Now, Soviet divisions that were here are gone. But that doesn't matter. Fog of War, yeah, no, it's, uh... Oh well, that is not my problem anymore. But hey, at least the Soviet divisions that were here are gone now. I don't have anything else to say. Just... End the video.